on today's video as you would have seen by the title it is going to be a video where i'm going to show you some of the bags that i'm going to be letting go of and removing from my collection not for any particular reason and definitely not because i don't love the bags i just kind of need the space a little bit more and i do feel like my collection is getting rather large um so unfortunately i am going to let go of a few pieces that i have kind of like multiples of like similar styles and also just things that I don't really feel like I need in my collection anymore so I really do hope that you enjoy these types of videos I know that my handbag content is probably my most popular style of video so um, everything that I'm going to be showing you today is going to be listed on my Vinted and I will give you all the information that you need at the end of the video so let's jump on in and see what I'm selling so we're just going to start off with a small accessory the first thing that I'm going to be selling is this Kate Loxton card holder I really do love this card holder it is absolutely beautiful and in pristine condition but I just find that I don't really gravitate towards it I don't really use it as much as I thought I was going to so I really don't think that I need to have multiple card holders in my collection I just have others that I prefer it's really beautiful it's in this tan faux leather croc print and it's got Katie Loxton London down at the bottom it has a section for your cards right at the front here it then has another one exactly the same on the back and then it does have a zip section at the top so you can open it up and you can put receipts change anything like that a key I've put a key in there before as well but um, it's an absolutely beautiful card holder but it's just looking for a new home it's this Yoshi top handle bag it is such a cute little mini bag it is absolutely stunning and really adorable and I did love wearing it back in the day before I was a mum and I actually had places to go I love the fact that it is black material with the black hardware I think that that looks really really beautiful it doesn't come with a crossbody strap it is literally just these two top handles so keep that in mind and I'll come in a little bit closer as you can see here it's just got little circles all around the bag and it's just plain on the back. And the thing that I love about it, when you open it up and you have a look on the inside, it's like a little Beetlejuice bag. So it's just got this striped print on the inside. And then it does have a little patch at the back that just says Yoshi. And then there is a zip section at the back of the bag. So you can use that to kind of put stuff that you want to keep secure. So this is a really beautiful bag and I really did enjoy my time with it. But like I say, I need the space. So this one is going to go. So the next one that I'm selling, and I know that there are going to be a couple of people that are really, really excited for this one because I did actually get quite a few messages from people on Instagram and in the comment section on my YouTube videos asking where they could get their hands on this exact bag. And it's this beautiful shoulder bag from Tune. I absolutely love this bag. It's so, so stunning. But as you would have seen, if you've seen my previous videos, I have got a really beautiful shoulder bag that I just got from Bag Show. It's the replica of the Prada Clio shoulder bag. And I just don't need multiple shoulder bags. Like I say, I don't really need to wear them that often. So I'm just gonna purge and be really cutthroat with my collection. I absolutely love the print of this bag. It's got D's all over it and then it just has June London in gold. Hardware is gold as well, so the zip and then just a couple of little buttons on the side. Just a really simple minimalistic bag. It also has feet on the bottom, which is a lovely feature. And the thing that I love about this bag is the strap. So the strap gives you plenty of room. So you could wear this bag over like a trench coat or a thicker coat. It's not gonna kind of like dig into your armpit. You've got plenty of space. It isn't adjustable, but I think because of the size of it, it's absolutely fine and it's perfect and very versatile to wear. When you open the bag up, like this it is extremely roomy also the material on the inside is a material where you could really easily wipe it down if you were to spill something in your bag which is a lovely feature you've also got a zip section at the back so again you can keep things nice and secure should you want to it just looks like that and it just has dune kind of printed all over the material in the inside of the bag as well so I'll be really sad to let this one go because I have loved wearing it and I was so happy when I actually found it. I actually picked this up from TK Maxx. I just think there's another home out there that will be able to give it as much love as I have. 
Moving on, I've got this shoulder bag. This is very comparable to the YSL bag. I think it looks really, really similar with the chevron print. Really nice, super cushiony, and you can really fill this bag up. There is just so much that you can put in this bag because of the slouchy material of it. You can really bring all of your essentials and more. The thing that I love about this bag as well is at the top of the straps you do have the faux leather material meaning that the chain isn't going to dig into your shoulder. It's really comfortable to wear. It's also super functional. You can double up the chain and you can wear it as a shoulder bag or you can pull it down like this and you can wear it as a crossbody bag. I love multifunctional handbags as you know. When you pull this up it's just a magnetic closure. And then it does actually have two separate sections in the bag. So you can keep your stuff separate should you want to. And then there is a zip section at the back as well. With this, I would say that this is in really, really good condition. The only thing that I will say is the magnetic closure. There are some scratches on it because I have used this bag a heck of a lot. Because it's just so handy to have and super beautiful. Next up is this really gorgeous shoulder bag. I'm finally parting ways with it because I just haven't gravitated towards it. Only because it's kind of hard to wear and carry my son. I feel like if I went out on a day on my own it would go perfectly over my shoulder but when I'm constantly picking up a toddler and putting them down I was finding that it was always slipping off my shoulder. It is an absolutely stunning bag, really really plush and cushiony and extremely good quality and it opens like this. It's got a really strong magnetic closure and it just kind of opens like that. What I will say about this is the shoulder strap is super comfortable. It feels really, really cushiony. And as you can see by the slouchy material of it, you can fit a ton of stuff in this handbag. And I absolutely love it. And now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, why am I letting you go? But it's just, I haven't reached for it. I think it's because a lot of my bags are in storage at the moment. Um, and like I said, I'm just trying to clear the space. It's in this beautiful, beautiful brown colour as well. And it is very comparable to the Bottega Veneta handbags. I think that it looks really similar to those. So I definitely think that this is a beautiful bag. And... I'm sure the person that buys it is going to really love it too. Next up, I'm just going to show you this backpack. This is from Fiorelli. I absolutely adore this backpack. It's this kind of like tan brownie backpack with silver hardware. Although this chain looks really, really big, it's not heavy at all. So it doesn't really weigh down at the handbag. And then it does have a silver zip as well to go with it. So all the hardware on it is silver. There are no feet on the bottom. And I love this handbag. It has some really amazing memories for me because I actually took this handbag to Australia. But I just haven't worn it much recently. The one thing that I will say about it quality wise is it has these little tabs on the zips here. But as you can see on this bit of the zip because you can open it two ways the little tassels have come off of this bit and I've lost them so I really don't know where they are so apologies for that whoever does buy it but it doesn't harm the quality of the bag it's still a beautiful beautiful quality bag the thing that I love about it as well is it does have this kind of little secure zip section at the back so if you wanted to keep your stuff really really safe if you were in like a big crowd or something then you can keep your stuff inside this pocket like I say I haven't used it in a really long time and I'm just Oh my god, <laughs> I'm just looking in the um, pocket of the bag and I just found some um, train tickets from Sydney. So that's, that's awesome, I'll keep them to one side. So yeah, like I say, it's big enough that where you could fit your purse, you could fit your phone and it's completely secure, pressed up against your back. Another feature that I like about this bag is these straps are adjustable, so depending on your size and your height, then you can obviously tailor the backpack to you. I'm gonna move on to some top handle bags now. So the next one that I'm gonna be selling is this beautiful handbag, which I picked up from Saramart. Again, I got lots of questions about this one because the seller did actually sell out really, really quickly out of these handbags. So this wasn't available, I think, maybe a few days after I posted the video. So this is absolutely stunning and this is a gorgeous kind of like pebbled faux leather with silver hardware this time. I don't have a lot of bags with silver hardware but this is one of them and it does have feet on the bottom. I really love wearing this handbag. It's very designer inspired and the top handles are absolutely perfect. Another feature that I love about this bag is it does come with a cross body strap so you can wear it. It's very versatile and you can secure 
fill this bag. I usually wear it open like this. I'm not really too precious about keeping it open. But if you did need to, you can put this across and then you can secure the bag so it's completely closed. The next bag that I'm going to be selling is a very similar handbag as you can tell. It's pretty much the exact same handbag, it's just in a different colour. It's in this kind of brown taupey colour and this one has gold hardware. There is a little bit of scratching and some of the paint has chipped away from this but definitely from a distance it looks in pristine condition you really can't tell unless you're really looking for it and again it has feet on the bottom um the only thing with this one is i can't seem to find the crossbody strap so potentially it may not come with a crossbody strap if i can find it in time when this video goes live and obviously when the pieces go live on my vintage then hopefully i will include the crossbody strap but for now, I'm going to list it without just because I can't find it. So I don't want to promise something that I can't deliver. And it's exactly the same as the other one, a big open bag. It's got two pockets at the front, just little patch pockets, and then a zip pocket at the back. You can fit an absolute ton of stuff in this handbag. And again, it's just super luxe and expensive looking. And I just feel really put together when I wear this handbag. So I will be sad to see this go, but I know that somebody out there is going to love this just as much as I have. And and the last handbag that I have to show you is this DKNY one. You may recognize this from a previous What's In My Bag video that I did. I absolutely adore this handbag, but again, I just need the space and I have way too many bags in my collection now. So I really do love this bag. It's got very minimal hardware. So it has DKNY and it's in this kind of like black gunmetal material. It does have these faux open zips down the side as well in the same coloured metal. It's one big open compartment with two slip pockets, kind of like little patch pockets in the front. Really, really good quality, really well made and really thick and sturdy. And then there is a zip section at the back. With this bag, it does have a fastening in the middle. It doesn't have a zip across, so just keep that in mind. It just has this kind of little magnetic closure, so you can kind of close it at the top and that's what it looks like so you can kind of like see in either side this doesn't come with a crossbody strap but i didn't buy it with a crossbody strap and also there are no feet on the bottom and i would say this is in pristine condition this is in the exact same condition as it was when i bought it i've just got two more things to show you really quickly the first thing is this beautiful ring from italo i absolutely love this ring but it doesn't fit me anymore unfortunately where my weight kind of fluctuates so i'll come in a little bit closer so that you can see it is absolutely stunning I'll take it out the box and show it to you while I'm wearing it as well. As you can see, it's got the cubic zirconia stone. It's got a band of cubic zirconias also around the base of the stone. And then the metal, it is, I think it's 14 karat gold plated. Um, really, really good quality. The one thing that I will say is it does, in certain lights, look like the gold has kind of rubbed away a little bit and it's kind of transitioning into silver at the bottom of the ring um but not at the top of the ring so not on any places where you can actually see the ring let me just take my ring off and put this one on So this is what it looks like on. It's just a little bit snug for my liking now. I will list all the information along with the sizing on my vintage so you know exactly what size it is. I can't remember off of the top of my head. I think it might be a five, potentially a size six. So I'm just gonna clarify that because I, I can measure it in a second. Um, but I'll make sure to do that before I actually list it so you have all of the information that you need. But it is just a very stunning ring. As you can see, it sits up quite high as well on your finger and I just love the setting of it it's absolutely beautiful and then this is the back if you can tell it looks a little bit more silver than gold but it doesn't look like there's a stark difference so to me it doesn't really look it just kind of looks like the light is very bright on that particular part of the ring not that it's actually faded but it is an absolutely stunning ring and now that I'm looking at it on my finger I don't want to sell it <laughs> but I have to I have to be ruthless and I have just too much stuff at the moment. And then the final thing that I'm going to be selling is my barber jacket. Now I really don't want to sell this barber jacket but the reason why I am selling it is because when it was originally bought for me I was a lot smaller than I am now even though I lost a lot of weight after I had my son it, I was still a lot smaller and this is actually in a size UK 6 
and the the reason why I'm having to sell it is because it just doesn't fit over my boobs. I can get it done like up to just under my boobs and then as soon as I try and get it over my boobs, it's just way too tight and really uncomfortable. So unfortunately, I am going to have to be parting ways with it. The inside of it, as you can see, is kind of like this really nice warm fleecy material and then it does have like a little buckle at the top here. And then the colour of it I absolutely love. I love this gorgeous, deep, rich red colour. I feel like it looks just really expensive and luxurious. It has pockets on the side as well. Really good, deep, functional pockets. And a little pocket at the top as well, in case you wanted to put anything in there. And it also does come with a belt. It's just out on the landing and I can't be bothered to go and get it. So it does come with a belt, which is very comparable to this as well. It's kind of like a buckle belt. Um... If you wanted to kind of like cinch the coat in a little bit more but it is an absolutely beautiful coat and i will be sad to see it go but it just doesn't fit me unfortunately so if you have a look at the buttons it says barber on all of the buttons and then on this little patch here it just says barber international so beautiful beautiful coat and i really do hope that this goes to a really nice home so that is everything that i'm going to be selling on my vintage i really do hope that you enjoyed watching this video if you did then please do remember to give it a thumbs up for me just let me know also consider hitting the subscribe button it is free and i would love to have you come back to watch more videos if you have any questions relating to these items then please do feel free to either dm me on instagram you can message me on vintage or leave me a comment in the comment section down below other than that, I hope that you're having an amazing day wherever you are, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.